Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about DocuSign. This is a stock that absolutely catapulted to the top of everyone's list during the pandemic. Today, it is down 81% from its all-time high. I was one of the people that invest, invested in it. I invested back in 2021. Of course, mine is way down from where it was in that time. And today I'm going to tell you why I think DocuSign is a buy again at this price point. All right, guys, so let's talk about DocuSign. Let's talk about this road to recovery. And then here in a minute, I want to give you those big growth drivers and the AI innovation that DocuSign is doing that is turning this company around and turning it into a buy. So DocuSign stock has started recovering, but it remains far from its all-time high. The stock soared, guys, during the pandemic, reaching $310 in September 2021 from $80 in March 2020. So like I said, huge. I mean, it, it was massive. It was blowing up. But following the pandemic, the stock plunged by 81% as business conditions normalized and growth slowed. But it has recovered recently. DocuSign stock has gained 47% since its low point in October 2023. And it's been trading flat since July 16th, even though the S&P 500 has been under pressure. So DocuSign offers a lot of things, guys, but mostly they offer digital document software that supports the entire agreement lifecycle from drafting to final signatures. And the company's products were highly popular during the pandemic, facilitating remote business operations. However, DocuSign's challenge post-pandemic has been sustaining rapid growth as in-person business has resumed. So what are they doing? They're shifting, guys. DocuSign is shifting. Their fo DocuSign is focusing on profitability rather than on pure growth, and they're adapting to the current market conditions. The company is pivoting to AI, which is enhancing its product offerings and driving customer interest. We're going to talk more about that in a minute, but let me introduce, first of all, their new platform, the Intelligent Agreement Management, or IAM, which launched earlier this year and is central to this shift. IAM addresses $2 trillion that are lost annually from poor contract management. Features include DocuSign Navigator, which is a repository for agreements with AI data extraction, and DocuSign AI, which helps manage the agreement lifecycle, providing risk assessments and contract summaries. Okay, but now let's talk about these growth drivers. Let's kind of dig a little bit more into this AI innovation because these are the things that are taking DocuSign to a buy level. And then here in a little bit, I'm gonna talk about the valuation and investment potential. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. First of all, let's talk about the impact of the IAM, the Intelligent Agreement Management. IAM enhances contract management with AI-driven features offering solutions like automatic contract expiration notifications, search functions, risk assessments. DocuSign AI helps streamline agreement creation, cutting down on the time spent drafting contracts and identifying risk and clauses. IAM, guys, is gaining momentum, evidenced by increased customer wins and larger deal sizes since its launch. August sales outperformed June and July combined. Absolutely outstanding. And look at their customer growth. Document, DocuSign had 1.6 million paying customers by the end of Q2 forward year 2025, a 16% year-over-year increase. Revenue grew by 7% in Q2 25 to $736 million, reflecting a slowdown compared to previous years. 11% in 2024, 22% in 2023, only 7% 2025. There's two main things, guys, that are affecting the slowdown in revenue. First of all, pandemic-driven growth was pulled forward, leaving a large base to grow from. 
then the company's focus on profitability has led to cost reductions, especially in areas like sales and marketing. However, we've seen a surge in profitability. Despite the slower revenue growth, prof, prof, uh, profitability has improved drastically. Look at the numbers. Net income reached $888.2 million in Q2 25, up from $7.4 million the prior year. This includes an $816 million tax benefit. So excluding the tax benefit, net income still saw a significant rise to $71.9 million. On a non-GAAP basis, net income rose to $201 million, a 34% increase year over year. Okay, but all that means nothing if we don't have good valuation. So let's talk about DocuSign stock valuation and then that investment thesis on I, I said even at the beginning of the video, I think that this stock is a buy now. Let me give that to you. At the 2021 peak, DocuSign's price to sales or PS ratio was around 50. It was fueled by expectations of continued pandemic driven growth in a favorable market environment. The stock's 81% decline since then, paired with steady revenue growth, has brought its PS ratio down to 4.1, the lowest level since its IPO back in 2018. And this presents, guys, a more reasonable valuation, potentially offering long-term upside. So what is the total addressable market? Document, DocuSign estimates its total addressable market at $50 billion, and the company has only begun to capture a fraction of this market. The IAM platform could be a key driver in increasing market penetration and reaccelerating revenue growth. Broader AI adoption is expected to increase. 70% guys of corporate executives expecting AI to transform business practices in the next three years, according to a PwC survey. So, final thought, given DocuSign's innovative product developments, given their strong profitability trajectory, given their attractive valuation, the stock may be an excellent long-term buy today, especially as AI adoption grows and IAM gains traction in the market. Now guys, like I said, I do own some DocuSign stock. I am not adding to that position today. If you wanna know what stocks I am buying, Subscribe to the channel. I post a video every week detailing a stock that I bought that week. Like I said, buy a stock every week, make a video about it, so subscribe. You don't want to miss those videos, as well as all these other videos that I'm making to try to give you all some updates on where my head is in the stocks world. All right, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about DocuSign, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.